Hi, I'm Marius from MWS Photography and in this video we are going to have a quick look at the latest version of Photomate R2, the app for managing, editing and exporting your raw images on the go with your tablet. I'm running Photomate R2 version 2.4 on KitKat 4.4.4 on the first generation Nexus 7. In Photomate R2 you can add your favorite folders as well as browse folders on your network. I will now choose a folder which has raw samples and you'll notice when I'm browsing through them it updates really quickly and browsing is nice and smooth. You can also customize your experience on Photomate by just going to that icon right there, select that and choose preferences and in here you can change the file filtering settings, the gallery settings, slideshow, you can also go to display options, choose a different color theme if you maybe want it black instead of this white. Lots of options to customize the program exactly to your needs. When you single tap on an image, you are taken to this quick view, which has also got a film strip in the bottom, the same as with Lightroom, where you can choose your specific image. You've also got your EXIF data at the top, as well as a star rating system and a label. When you single tap, it takes the film strip away, or you can double tap to go in for a closer view and you'll notice within a second the image is showing in high resolution and it updates very quickly and also browses very smoothly. If I double tap again it takes me back to this view. Single tap brings in the film strip again and I can also go to that icon choose compare image and then I've got two images next to each other. I can also now choose a different image that will display here. I can compare the two and I can also double tap on both of them and have a high-res view within seconds of both images also running very, very smoothly. When I go out of compare mode back to single image, I can now rate a specific image. So I can say maybe I want to have this image rated as a five star, maybe choose the next image rate as a five star and maybe this image right here as a five star as well. Now imagine you've got a shoot of a few hundred images. You maybe want to choose the best ones to work with. Exactly like in Lightroom, choose the images you want to work with and then just go back to the gallery view and then at the top here, turn on the filter function. So when I turn the filtering on, it will refresh and only show those three selected images. To edit your images, just go to develop Select the icon and it'll take you to this screen which is showing your three selected images there in the corner. If you're already working in Photoshop's Lightroom, you will find Photomate R2 very similar. I can double tap on the image, it'll give me a closer look. I can double tap to go back. You'll notice it's running very smoothly considering I'm working with a RAW file. Then at the top here, I've got a crop function that allows me to crop the image as well as straighten it, the same that you will do in Lightroom. I've also got the reset button there that allows me to reset all the settings I've applied. Also an exposure marker there at the top that allow me to see over and under exposure on my image. Then I've got my EXIF data here and these panels very similar to Lightroom. You will see for instance under basics you've got our white balance, we've got our exposure settings, we've also got vibrance, saturation, clarity. Then under details you can open and close these panels the same as you can do in Lightroom. We've got under details our sharpness and also noise reduction. Then with lens adjustment we can now control our distortion in the image by using the lens profiles. Just keep in mind that not all the lenses will be supported. Then we've also got here the color adjustment and I love these sliders in Lightroom and they're also here. Yeah, so we've got the U, the saturation and luminance and Lightroom it's called the HSL panel so it's U, saturation, luminance. My best friend is the luminance slider so I can also control that here. The effects panel will give us like, for instance, grain. Then these filters, very awesome. The same that you will have in Lightroom. For instance, if I use the gradient filter and I add the filter, I can now swipe from the side, like for instance that, 
and it'll open up the settings here and for instance if I now take the saturation down you'll notice it will desaturate this section but not this section because I've applied that gradient from the side you can also invert the selection you'll notice it'll now just flip around and this section will now be desaturated and I can also just delete it by just pressing on that dustbin right there and then I can also just close that panel so we've got a bunch of filters here that we can use very similar to Lightroom we've also got red eyes very nice curves adjustment which opens up on the image and you can also work on the specific colors there at the top then if I scroll down a little bit more you'll notice I can also synchronize the files I can also load settings from a previous image and you can also create templates while working in Photomate R2. Then when I want to save a file, I can either adjust while being on the image, click on save as file. It'll bring up this export screen that allows me to choose the folder where I want to save my pictures, the name of the folder, the file name, the format, the output size, everything nicely summed up on this export screen. Or if I want to, I can save all my images. If I tap on this image and just hold my finger on it for a while, you will enter the multi-select mode and I can either select a few images or select them all in one go. You'll notice all three have been selected and then export all the images in one go. And again, I'm able to change all the settings for the, these specific images I want to export. Okay, that was a very quick look at Photomate R2. There are still other features like the preset features, the stacking of images, the camera import support, as well as showing a map with all your geotagged images and lots more. So if you would like more information on Photomate R2, please visit the Photomate R2 website and then I will see you in a video soon. Bye.